Hey everybody, what's up? It's Patrick from Magnetic Nerds, and today I'm going to finish a cosplay that I started in 2016. What cosplay is it? In case some of you are wondering, that cosplay is very Skyrim in nature. So it's our first Skyrim cosplay, and I've always wanted to make the helmet to go with my armor set, but I never did it until now. And for all of you keeping score at home, here's a list of everything I use to make this project. The files for this helmet came from Villainous Prop Shop. You can find them over on Cults. He actually has a ton of different helmets, weapons, and masks from all kinds of different genres and fandoms. And he's also nice enough to break all these large files up so that a small printer can do them. The printing, well, that was the easy part. After I got everything off the print bed and glued together, I had a tremendous amount of seams and gaps that all needed to be filled in. And that's really the biggest drawback of printing something like this in a bunch of different pieces. The seam lines and the gaps are everywhere. To fill in the biggest gaps, I need something a little more rigid than a bondo or a spot putty. So I reached in my toolbox and I pulled out the epoxy sculpt. Using an epoxy sculpt, it allowed me to mold it into all the nooks and crannies and really helped to fill in the biggest gaps, especially on the fin and on the sides of the head. Once the epoxy cured, I used just a general spot putty to fill in all the rest of the seams. And then when that cured, I used some sandpaper and did a very rough, light sanding all the way around, all, all along those seams, and let me see just how good of a job I did. This was probably the biggest project I've done to date with my Prusa. It printed in 15 separate pieces, it took a week to print it, and I used two spools of filament to get this project done. And then, after all of that work, I still wasn't done. There still were some unlevel spots, there still were some seams that were showing, especially around the temple and the base of the fin. And to help me level off those spots and fill in some bigger indentations, if you will, I used Bondo. all the different bondos and epoxies and spot putties after they all cured I sanded it for the second time and then I think I think we are finally ready to move on to the next step and that is using a filler primer When the filler primer dried, it was now time to really sand and smooth this helmet out. The sanding you saw previously, that was just the tip of the iceberg. I spent the better part of a day sanding and filing this helmet down. But, fortunate enough for you, to the wonders of video editing, you don't have to spend an entire day watching me sand my life away. Now that I have completed my quest to find my inner core geek, we now get to move on to painting. One last coat of filler primer, then I laid a coat of a hammered black enamel on top of that. It was a long and windy road to get to this point, but we are now finally at the point where I get to weather this thing. To be totally honest with you, I really was beginning to think I would never get to this spot. But we are finally here, you all can rejoice, I get to do my favorite part of any project, and for this particular project, I went all out. Oil paints, pigments, washes, the whole nine yards. 
bits to deal with were the inside of the helmet. I glued on some black fabric to help hide my face and make the helmet a little more mysterious, followed by strips of upholstery foam to make sure everything sits right and is comfortable enough for me to wear. Let's have a look at the final result. And now, my cosplay that is almost 10 years in the making. You know, wait, 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 wait. This is so nice. This is so shiny. I don't think it's gonna go with the set of armor that you all may be thinking of. I'm gonna do something a little different, but I'm not gonna tell you what that is just yet. You're gonna have to come back later and tune in to see just exactly what this beautiful shiny helmet is actually gonna go with. And as always, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment. That stuff helps us out tremendously with the algorithm gods. And with that said, see you guys in the next video.